good morning. Today is Saturday, March 20th, March 20th. I just had the weirdest urge to vlog. I'm sitting in bed and I just made a tropical bub. If you know, you know, I have been craving like fruits and veggies all week. And the other day I was like, I'm going to make a bub because it's been like so long since I made one. I used to make them in quarantine all the time. So I'm starting off my morning with one of these. I'm like kind of sick, getting over like a cold. I actually spent all day in bed yesterday with a fever. I got COVID tested just to be safe. I don't think I have COVID. Justin's roommate had a cold, he had a cold, and then I think I just got what they had too. Today's Saturday, so it's gonna be a chill day. I'm basically just gonna be here all day. Now that I'm feeling better, probably gonna bake something. I think it's supposed to be a little warmer today, which is nice. Maybe I'll go on a walk. I was on a two week stretch of taking no rest days at the gym. And here I am forced to take rest days yesterday and today. But I think I have a package that's about to be here. So maybe we can do an unboxing. Please excuse the fan in here, but I did just get a package from Ulta in. I just took a shower. I got a few things from Ulta just because I love, 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 love this moisturizer it's literally just the neutrogena oil-free sunscreen but i want to show you guys these new products that i got i have never tried any of the tanologist stuff so i got the gradual tan which what i've been doing i haven't had any kind of like gradual tanner so what i've been doing is like mixing myself tanner with lotion and it gets all over my calluses like from the gym so bad and then i found this other thing on tiktok it's called calm down is an ingrown hair razor bump and redness eliminator. I've heard this works wonders, so I'm really excited to try it. Ooh, it smells like acetone. So it says use a cotton ball or pad to apply affected areas after shaving or waxing. Interesting. Anyway, I think I'm gonna do the ordinary little mask, the red AHA peeling solution because I haven't done this in a while. And I think my skin needs some self care also. Just so you know, you guys only need a tiny bit of this. It's bad if you put a lot on. I'm gonna go let this sit and try out these new things. Okay, so, should I sit down? Oh my God, I just did my eyebrows. They needed to be done so badly. Since today's the first day of spring, I was like, why not do a spring cleaning? There's so much dust on my side tables, my windowsill, the shit out in my living room, like just so much dust. Even on like all of the little, what are these, like baseboard things? The trim of the walls and stuff. My bathroom needs to be done. I was like, you know what, just do it. I'm gonna be sitting in my house all day waiting for my COVID results anyway, so I might as well just get it done. Big spring cleaning day. I'm kind of excited, let's do it. I am currently trying to get this stain out. I have now made my couch yellow and blue. Blue is from OxyClean, yellow is from the bleach because my dumbass spilt coffee all over it. So I don't really know what to do. So if anyone has any ideas, please let me know because I would like to obviously make it better, salvage my couch. But as you can see, I did like all of the baseboards. Everything is clean, dust free. There's no dust on here. I did like literally the entire house like all of my window cells are nice and clean i just had some greek yogurt with blueberries i did my floors oh my goodness look how shiny i'm also gonna do my closet but my misguided package just got here so let's go do a haul oh how things have changed since i last vlogged yesterday it is now sunday and i have covid sorry i don't mean to like laugh about that i'm not trying to be insensitive in any way but it was just weird because i did not think i had it at all you know we all just thought i was being traumatic when i said i need to get tested basically i last talked to you guys and i said i was just gonna go around downstairs and um go get my package the only time i went outside yesterday was for this package and i wore two masks don't worry i was really being very cautious i really was and i have to tell you the story about this freaking 
package. So I go downstairs and it's not there and I'm like, great. So then I just happen to see the mailman outside. I wave him down, I was like, hi, um, I live in this building. Uh, did you happen to like see this package, whatever? He's like, oh, I know your building. Yes, I just delivered that. But an older man actually grabbed the package as soon as I dropped it off. I said, what do you mean he grabbed it? He said, oh, he just picked it up and took off in a blue Honda Civic. I was like, what? So here I am thinking this man stole my package. I'm like, what the hell? So I called my building and I was like, hi, please check the security cameras, whatever. So then I was on the phone with Misguided and then they were like, if you just fill something out, we can see if we can send you another one. So then I filled all of that out and I think they're sending me another one. I just happened to go check. I had to go get something from my car this morning and sure enough, it was here and I was like, oh my God. I also didn't even tell you guys about my car, obviously because I, haven't been on here, but it's basically been the week from hell. So last Friday, my car got hit in a hit and run overnight. The damage was really bad, $5,000 worth of damage. <laughs> that sucks, it's in the shop, it's been there for what Sunday. I dropped it off Monday morning. So it's almost been a week. I've had a loaner car. I actually have the exact same loaner car um, that I have now. <laughs> well, at first I didn't. I get there and they're like, we only have minivans. I'm like, so they give me this, Big ass minivan, this thing's a tank. So then they were like, you can come back the next day and we'll swap it out for something else. And then the next day, they just happened to have a white 2019 Nissan Altima. And I was like, thank God. So I was able to get that. So luckily I've had that for like the past week or so. So I'm kind of all over the place right now, but it's been like quite the morning because Justin and I like shit ourselves when we realized that we have COVID. We think it was passed from one of Justin's roommates who passed it to us. So. Can't really control the situation. I really have tried to been pretty COVID safe the whole time. And I obviously don't take this lightly because I got tested because I thought I had a cold. So no hate, thank you. But let's do a haul. Now that I'm gonna be in quarantine, I guess I'll be vlogging. <coughs> oh, oh, this is so cute. All right, here we go. Okay, so first thing I got is this bag. And I don't know what prompted me to buy this, but I just thought it was good. I don't know, I'm just like kind of getting tired of carrying around like plain Louis Vuitton bag and I just wanted something different. So I got this little, like clearly a Chanel boy bag. Well, would you call this a dupe? I don't know if I would call this a dupe. Next thing we got this sweatshirt. Oh, I don't know if I would like this. This is not the color that I expected. It looks like very tan and not pink. That kind of sucks, right? Does this look pink? I feel like it looks pretty pink. It's an oversized hoodie. I also really like the black details on the end of this. I don't know why, but I do. Then I got, oh my God. You know, every time I buy clothes for Misguided, it's like, a disappointment. This does not look like it will go across my boobs whatsoever, so that kind of sucks. This is not a size six. Like, come on. I'm sorry. Where does it fit the boobs? Anyway, so I got this like sage green bodysuit. I would do a try on haul, but just not feeling it right now. Really not feeling it. I also developed a crazy cough. It's weird because my symptoms have really been different every single day. Like I initially thought I was sick on Friday and then yesterday I was like fine, obviously I vlogged. And then I started getting a cough and now I'm just coughing. Ooh, are these shorts or is this a skirt? Oh, these are shorts, these little leather shorts. I don't know, everyone said leather shorts are still gonna be trending throughout this summer. These are actually really cute, I like these a lot. Oh, this is a set, it's like a cropped sweater. And then, oh my God, I hope this is cute. I was really excited for this. And then these little shorts, Shorts. These look a little strange. Kind of looks like a diaper. So far, I'm really not pleased with this purchase. I gotta say that. Oh, these might be my favorite thing I got, actually. We have some beige leather shorts. I thought these were really cute, actually. And they have these little pockets. And I love a cinched waist like this. It just really sucks you in, you know? Lastly, oh, this is my favorite thing. Easily my favorite thing. I love a misguided, like, button-down shirt. This is like a crinkle type fabric. It's like a button down shirt. It just gave me summer vibes all the way. And wow, I could even wear that with like these. This would look really, really cute. Oh my God, I'm so excited for summer. It's supposed to be like 65 tomorrow. If you guys have COVID, did you go outside and go on walks or anything? Could you let me know? Because 
I would love to like go on a walk or something tomorrow because it's supposed to be like 70 a night. Um, but I don't know. Oh, I got one more thing. Just this bodysuit. I actually have this bodysuit in tan and I wear the shit out of it. So I got it in black. It's just a scoop neck little bodysuit. It's actually very, very flattering. That's all I got for Misguided. I think I'm going to make a little tropical bub. <laughs> it's so funny. I posted on my Instagram story and it got like so much hate and I just... Just had a laugh, you know? Not like hate in a bad way, but you know what I mean. So I'm gonna go do that and I will see you guys in a little bit. Hello, it is many days later now. Please excuse the lighting, it's pouring rain outside and all we have are these indoor lights. But it is Wednesday, I didn't vlog. I've been quarantining at Justin's with him. This is like maybe day seven of COVID now and it's probably the sickest I've felt are you literally making a COVID vlog? Well, I was vlogging before COVID and then I got COVID in the middle of the vlog. So now I have to finish the vlog and say, you know. There you have it. Yeah. I mean, I already said that, but we've just been here. We're watching some vlogs. Well, Justin's not, but oh, no. this has been my little sanctuary out here. It's been not great. So we've just been stuck in here for the past few days. The only thing I've done is sleep. We've had COVID. You can probably relate to being so sleepy. We'll sleep like 10 hours at night and then I'll take like a two hour nap at like two, three o'clock. It's so weird. I feel fine now. It's like 2.30 and I swear to God in like five minutes, it's gonna hit me and I'm gonna be like, oh my God, I need to go to bed now. And you fall asleep instantly and pass out and it's you're in a deep sleep. It's just really bizarre how tired that you get. So yeah, there's just been a lot of TV watching, a lot of sleeping. My mom had described COVID to me as you take one step forward, two steps back. And that is like the only way that I can put it. He feels fine but today it just hit me i woke up and i had the body aches the headaches the congestion i still have a cough so yeah this is like day six or seven i don't know so that's really it i just wanted to edit this vlog and get it up i haven't edited a vlog in so long so i just wanted to edit this and get it up for you guys thank you guys for watching i love you guys so much and i will definitely vlog again next week when i'm feeling better bye